Hello everyone. Welcome to the first installment of conversations that I've decided to have on a topic that is near and dear to my heart and that topic is simply missional living and what that looks like for us every day as the modern woman. How do we live missionally? By now many of you probably have read my blog on lessons on missional living that I learned during uh, my recent trips to Thailand. I hope you have read it, but if not, those trips definitely inspired this series and it's inspiring my lifestyle to be more intentional about living missionally. To give you guys a definition, a working definition, it is, in Christianity, missional living is the adoption of the posture thinking behaviors and practices of a missionary in order to engage others with the gospel message. Now, we are all called to engage others with the gospel message. That is the Great Commission. Let's go to Matthew 28, verse 16, if you have your Bibles. And for the sake of time, I'm going to read. The 11 disciples traveled to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus had directed them. When they saw him, they worshiped, but some doubted. Then Jesus came near and said to them, all authority. Now I want you guys to underline or take note of the word authority has been given to me in heaven and on earth. Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe everything I have commanded you. And remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. I had you guys underline all authority because I want you to know that Jesus said that all authority has been given to him. And then he goes on to give us some directions and commission us to do some things. But he has us do these things in the name of the Father and the, of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. That means that that authority, when we do these things, that authority to do it has been given to us from Jesus Christ himself. And I love this part. In verse 20, it says that I am with you always to the end of the age. So as we seek to live missionally for the sake of engaging others with the gospel message, we have to know that we aren't doing this thing alone. That Christ is with us and he'll always be with us until the end of age. Now there's many ways that we can live missionally, but for the sake of this video, I am going to focus on the importance of intentional relationships. Let's go to Luke 5. In Luke chapter 5, there is a story with Jesus and a tax collector named Levi. And I love this story because this story is truly the model of building intentional relationships missionally. I'm going to start reading at verse 27. And I'm reading from the HSCB translation. After this, Jesus went out and saw a tax collector named Levi sitting at the tax office. And he said to him, follow me. So leaving everything behind, he got up and began to follow him. Then Levi hosted a grand banquet for him at his house. Now there was a large crowd of tax collectors and others who were guests with them. But the Pharisees and their scribes were complaining to his disciples, Why do you eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus replied to them, The healthy don't need a doctor, but the sick do. I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Here we see a perfect example on an intentional relationship being built through missional living. Jesus simply was intentional about reaching out to this tax collector named Levi and then being intentional by accepting his invitation to come to this banquet and to this party. Now, this is difficult for a lot of believers to do, and you have to know that when building relationships 
intentionally for the sake of engaging them with the gospel. This is for the strong. This is for the person who is deeply rooted and understands who they are in Christ and that nothing can shake their faith. But it is so important in order to do that, in order to ultimately engage people with the gospel message. Here, Jesus is building trust with Levi by just even coming to break bread with him and to be in his home. But he's intentional about this because at the end of the day, he says that, hey, I have not come to call the righteous but sinners to repentance. Just by our mere conversations and presence with those who desire, I'm sorry, my dog has scared me. <laughs> Shadow, come on. I'm in the middle of a teaching. Okay. So, <laughs> this is real life right here. I'm here with my dog. And um, he has tried to interrupt me, but I'm going to go on with this video. Uh, as we see here, Jesus is being very, very intentional about his relationship with Levi. And so, what we get from this is we have to step out of our Christian cliques and our circles and when we decide to live missionally and engage others with the gospel message. Your Christian cliques and your friends at church, many of them, they're all already familiar with the gospel message. They may already be Christians. But what about that woman at the store, that's that cashier, the young girl at the cashier, uh, who, who is a cashier that you consistently see and you say hi to? Have you ever had a conversation with her to see how she's doing or to just go beyond the regular, hey, how are you doing um, message, but to really be intentional about getting to know her, to ask some questions that are a little deeper or to just be a blessing to her to open up the door for the gospel message to come through. So my challenge to you this week and uh, whenever you uh, watch this video is to begin to be intentional in your conversations. Begin to be intentional on the relationships that you develop, not for your own motives, but for the motive of simply engaging them with the gospel of Jesus Christ so that God can ultimately get the glory. I want you to know uh, I'm with you on this. I'm praying for you. And you can feel free to message me through my website and let me know how it's working for you. And we're going to build these relationships together because at the end of the day, this is necessary in order for us to live missionally. This is not just for the evangelist. This is not just for the missionary. But we can live missionally every day in our neighborhoods, in our communities, and ultimately, when all of us take part in living missionally, that is how we change the world one by one and one person at a time. Okay, Shadow, so say hi and bye to my group since you interrupted this video. And thank you guys for being patient as I stop to get my spoiled dog. But let's live missionally together, guys. Love you. Bye.